And it might sound a little crazy to some people to consider what it is that I'm proposing, and that is that you can be positive no matter what. We just had Dr. Paul speak uh, to our group. Uh, I've heard him a couple times. I uh, really enjoy his uh, energy, enthusiasm, and preparation. Uh, the, the skills and the principles that he teaches us uh, are amazing. They help us to not only shape the way uh, we think about ourselves currently, but how we can in the future in uh, helping us get to our best selves. You've heard it before, right? Just think positive. You've maybe said it from the stage before. What does it mean? So as a psychologist, part of my job is to illuminate the obvious. Think about that for a minute. How cool is that? I get paid to tell people things they already know. It has some really great material. And uh, Dr. Paul really teaches some great principles on how to manage yourself and help you uh, become familiar with where you are and where you can go. Think about this, you can always Imagine something better than what you've already got, right? Think about your bank account. Are we there? You can always imagine something better. I don't care how well you're doing. Now, is that true on this side too? No matter how bad things seem, they could always be. Is that true? And don't take my word for it. I want you to run it through your own filters of truth today. Because if that's true, then what we've got is always between better and worse. And it sounds crazy to think that we can look at difficult, negative, painful things in our life and say that it's good. Or to stubbornly insist that whatever's coming next is even better. You're constantly judging yourself, your relationships, your finances, your health, your looks, your appearance, you're judging me. <laughs> and you can't turn it off. You can't turn it off. So it's not good or bad, it's just what your mind does. Now how do you judge what it is? You have to do it in comparison to some standard. And if you don't have a standard, you will imagine one and you've got a really great imagination. With pathological positivity, we have an opportunity to choose which way we look to evaluate what is. Here's a quick brain hack for you, because I think the quickest way to get into positive evaluation is through gratitude. To see that what you've got is good and it always is compared to something worse. Just think of three things that you're grateful for. Try this three days in a row and see what happens. Now the first one is a freebie. You can think of indoor plumbing or hot water or puppies. And it's easy to think about something that's awesome and be grateful for that. Here's the challenge. The other two, something that's challenging you or frustrating you or hard or difficult. And I'm not saying you have to be grateful for that. I'm saying look around inside of that and see what you can find in there for which you are sincerely grateful. Make two of those things about that. That's going to power things up. And notice that what is is always stuck right between worse and better until we declare a judgment on that. It's called creation or prediction. And you can't turn this one off either. How are you doing next week? You don't know. And that's my point. Now you've got something to do with it. But you don't know. So you have to imagine something. Now when you imagine that what's coming for you is worse than what you've already got. How do you feel? That, my friends, is anxiety. That's 22 years of clinical experience in a nutshell. When we imagine that what's coming is worse, we don't know. How do you feel when you imagine that what's coming is better? <sighs> That's eagerness, anticipation, hope. And we can always get there too. Pathological positivity is using the power of our imagination for the right tasks. We can imagine something worse. Sure, that's so that we can see that where we are is good. We can imagine something better. That's not to beat ourselves up for not being good enough. That's to drive our creative efforts and to pull us to something better. Perhaps you've pondered 
that possibly there's a process that predictably propels people. It's unprecedented personal power, productivity, profit, prosperity. That's what I call pathological positivity. Now perhaps you picked up on this point. <laughs> that our planet is plagued with a pandemic of poisonous pessimism. The popular perception of painful or perturbing problems is pathogenically paralyzing. The predominant population places pessimism on a pedestal. Pathological positivity programs and positions people to perceive positive possibilities in painful problems. It inspires and provokes people to apply positive principles and practices even in paralyzing predicaments. Particularly in paralyzing predicaments. Now pathological positivity isn't just a program or a fluffy philosophy. That's spelled with a PH if you're taking notes. <laughs> it's a personal preference. A programmed and practiced proclivity to purposefully opt for the positive from a plethora of possible perceptions. This promotes powerful personal prosperity. Pernicious, pandemic, poisonous, pestilent pessimism is pummeled into powder. As professionals, parents, all people, permit, apply, promote, and popularize pathologically positive parents. The payoff is powerful, personal and professional prosperity. I am profusely and profoundly appreciative of being president. I'm Dr. Paul.